Good afternoon. Just wanted to do a follow-up video on heating our pool up. Um, we got it up to 89 degrees using our big pool heater here. We did it off of solar. We were able to run it like four to six hours a day because that thing uses like seven to seven thousand to almost eight thousand watts um, to run this hundred and twenty-seven thousand BTU. Uh, heat pump, electric heat pump. This thing only uses like a thousand to eleven hundred watts. This is a seventeen thousand BTU, and this maintains it. So right now, we are eighty-four degrees going into that pool, and we have our pool pump on at uh, seventeen hundred. RPMs. One of the things I wanted to share with you was if you're going to heat your pool like that, you're going to get algae really bad if you don't keep that pool running 24 hours a day, that pool pump. So I had to actually pull this cover off right now. You can see it's nice and clean. There's no algae in there. It's um, staying really good. But man, it got really bad mustard algae and I had to take the cover off for about a week throw a lot of uh, chlorine in there algicide clarifier get that all cleaned out and back flush it out and then I run this thing around uh, 17,000 to 2,000 rpms during the day and overnight I run it at nine nine hundred rpms and it stays nice and if you keep this cover on it will keep the chlorine in and it'll keep the water from evaporating and i had to make sure i got my ph up all the way and just a little bit extra because the higher the ph the harder it is for the algae to grow but uh now that i have those lithium iron lithium ion phosphate batteries i always say iron it's just from where i'm from uh now that i have those i can run that overnight and the four 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries i have in series for 48 volts it only drops at one tenth of a volt on one battery out of the four batteries so doesn't even use that much it's, um, God, I think it's like 70 or 80 watts it uses per hour overnight running this jacuzzi pool pump. So, and that also keeps the, the heat flowing from the pool, kind of keeps circulating it because um, you'll get that cold on top. And I find that I only get one to two degree drop of heat overnight if I run that pump, but if I don't, I'll lose three to five degrees overnight if I don't run that pool pump. So it's to your advantage if you can run it overnight. And I'll tell you, just having it on on just that 900 RPMs makes such a difference. Now I have no algae, so I gotta keep this running 24 hours a day until the end of the pool season in November or December. <laughs> so, but, uh, just wanted to share that with you and um, hope that helps. Uh, it does take quite a bit of uh, amps to run that big one over there. Um, that thing will jump up to close to 189 inrush amps to start this pool heater, heat pump up. And then it uses pretty close to that about 160 to 186 dc amps while it's running and the hotter it is outside the more amps you're going to pull to run this thing so and it's um right now it's it's getting up to 90 to 95 during the day and this pool heater is getting close to 8,000 watts to run that thing but uh you know, right now it's uh, 84 degrees in that pool, and 
tomorrow if I get up and start running that thing at like nine o'clock by three, four o'clock in the afternoon, it'll be 89 degrees, 90 degrees in that pool. That's where we like it. So it will warm that up really quick. So just wanted to share that with you. Hope that tip helps you. If you're thinking about heating your pool, better have a 12 kilowatt grow watt low frequency inverter and a good size battery bank if you're going to try it because <laughs> it takes a lot. And you got to put a soft start on that thing. It won't be able to start it with the inrush amps. That 12 kilowatt grow watt can only do 100 amps inrush. So you got to be able to have something else connected to that thing to be able to pull that. So you got to have solar panels, battery, and then I run it with that EG4 charge controller added to it. And I'm able to fire that thing up and run it constantly for like four to six hours. So, but that'll give me six to eight degrees to raise the temperature just running that four to six hours. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell and hope you have a wonderful and truly blessed day. And I think we'll pull this cover off and go swimming in a bit.